Oh, the update dropped. The Sparky Glove was just released. Oh, they haven't updated the badge yet. Interesting. So, let's go into the game real quick and see how this works. Ah, uh, so here is the glove itself. Sparky. 48 power, 16 speed. The ability is Sparky Gun. It's a pretty cool glove that I'm excited to show you. To get it, you must own the Incredible Running Man badge. And you might be asking, how do you get it? Well, to get that glove, you need to have a Dream Glove, right? That needs to be your base glove. And you need to be hit by a Reaper. And then you also need to be hit by a Conveyor. And after that is said and done, you need to get into an Overkill and die to an Overkill. So I wonder if this can be done in a private match. I feel like that would be the easiest place to do it. So this is how you do not do this. You're not gonna wanna hit them and have both the abilities on them and then have the overkill run into them. What needs to happen is they need to be going full speed and they have to run into an overkill that is standing way far back. Overkill should not move. Here's another example of something that will not work. If you have both abilities and you're going just mildly fast and not fast enough, you will not get it. Right here, I do not get it. Here's how I did it, but I still think that the overkill should be a little bit farther back than this. The only reason that this worked right here was because I lagged or something like that and it didn't register till I was farther back and going full speed. So definitely have your overkill user far, far away, but not too far. So as you see, the overkill cannot be close. The overkill has to be further away. Shout out to Mason AG 2011 for coming out with the overkill and helping out all of these amazing people. This is a W human being right here. Absolute W. Shout out to everybody for working together. This is an amazing server. Okay, so this ability is once you pop it, the more you run, the more knockback damage you're going to do to someone. So you get faster and faster and faster. That was a detonator that was on me right there. So if you've been detonated and somebody has Sparky, it is a counter for sure. Ugh, I'm being bullied. <laughs> oh, no, the cube, it touched my toenail. So with this, if you're at your maximum speed, if you connect with someone, you're most likely going to hit them off the edge. That's if you're going fast speed. Oh, and I believe if you do hit a reverse, it sends you off and gives you the knockback. Mink. Yep. Yep, it's like a recoil when you hit those users. You just run in like a circle and go fast. Yeah, it just progressively gets faster and faster. Oh, did not mean to hit you, Chief. Sorry. I want to see how long this will go for. I think it... Oh, it dies out. Okay, so it dies out right around the SP and, like, the start of the A on your ability. Let's test out some counters for it. If you can get them early, I guess extended would be a great one to use. I wonder if you can actually use Zs now that I think about it. I wonder if you're on the ground, if you're okay and not in any danger. All right, so let's see. So if they use the ability... Oh, yo, Z's is a is a counter. <laughs> yo, this is one of the first times Z is actually a counter to the glove. Wow. All you have to do is just go to sleep till they uh, get done with their ability. Whoa. So if they're going fast enough, no. I think maybe early stage, you could definitely get hit. But late stage, yeah, you, you can avoid from being hit, which is great. Oh, yeah. If you can land in the brick, the brick is definitely a counter. Yeah, you're not safe. So if you can land the brick, the brick definitely works. You could swapper them off. Like if you're close to an edge and they're running at you, could, you could definitely swapper them because they cannot stop. So swapper's a massive counter. So when they're running, it is hard for them to stop. So if you have someone that's targeting you and running real fast at you, just swap. Usually they won't lag like that. <laughs> They'll probably pretty much just run off. I don't know if you're going to get hit every time, but Swapper is definitely a glove that could work. I wouldn't recommend Ghost. You could obviously get behind him, but eh, not really worth. Stun? Uh, you could stun him. That could be a counter. So trying to get a high speed one is going to be very difficult. But uh, you cannot stop the... You can't stop the lower tiers. The lower tiers still move. So look at that. They can still move. They still have control even while they're down. You could Zahando them, but it's not really going to do anything. You're most likely going to get hit. Magnet could be a definite counter to them. Because no matter where they are, as long as you're swinging as you hit your ability, you, you should be able to catch up to them if you get to the right person. You should be able to hit them. That's if being targeted. This is like one of those scenarios is if you are being targeted. Yes, okay, so it does work. It does counter. It's hard because I got a lot of people trying to talk to me right now, but it definitely worked. You could see that it did work at that specific moment. Even as he hit me off, it saved me in the end. Oh, so it kind of works. You have to make sure you're swinging beforehand. I was swinging after the fact, but a uh, magnet could work. Magnet could definitely work. Mail could, uh, depending on the user, could work on them because they might not be able to see, so mail might be a good counter. Golden's ability, of course, you'll be safe. Squid, if you can land a hit first before they go, but uh, cheeky will reduce your knockback. Let's see how much the knockback gets reduced off of a full power. Oh, yeah, kind of negated. 
Yeah, that, that takes away like all knockback. You take like no knockback with this glove. Cheeky's one of the top counters for this glove because no matter how many there are, Cheeky will always keep you safe. Defense, I don't even think you're safe in a defense. I think that uh, with desync, you still are going to get hit by a shockwave. Defense might keep you actually safe from this event. So they cannot reach me when I'm in a full defense right now. <laughs> I think they're actually stuck. I said open the door. <laughs> okay, so defense definitely works if you want to keep yourself safe from uh, all the outside gooberness. As I showed before, reverse is a fantastic counter. You could always shikuchi them if you get uh, the perfect timing on them if they're chasing you down. You could definitely get them before they get you. We just gotta, we're gonna find one that's running. So we'll take. Uh, I just need to get my ability. Oh my you. Move. You can definitely stop them. <laughs> And you can get the hit off. So Shikuchi is definitely a major counter. This glove has a lot of counters. The whoa ability. Let's see if they are going fast. It's going to be another whirlwind scenario where you're going to have users who are fast and you're just going to have to fight a uh, desync battle because you trying to hit them is going to be tough if they're going full bore and full speed ahead because they're going to be able to get the hit off on you beforehand. But if you're lucky enough to get them around the side, you can definitely stop them in their tracks and they're not going to be able to do anything about that. But most likely, they're going to be able to hit you if you're not paying attention. But woe could work. It could definitely work. Stop them in their tracks. Ice, if you can land the hit before they get fast, I guess. Same thing with gummy. Blocked. Oh, interesting. I actually don't know if blocked will keep you safe considering this is an ability. Blocked usually only keeps you safe from slaps. Yes, it keeps you okay. So you're fully safe. From the ability if you have blocked against the person so blocked is a counter that does work engineers if they hit them yeah good. it'll stop them rocky if you can hit them with a rock absolutely will stop them phantom if you're trying to get away could work same thing with wormhole another escape glove you could stop them but again this ability is delayed so it's just not super worth it track will catch up to them but not really a counter table flip if you can land it is definitely like rocky or anything like that just a little bit more deadly and will stop them it will stop their ability and it will also potentially kill them shield will shield protect you from the initial hit no, you are not protected as shield. Shield is a no-go for this glove. <laughs> ping pong. If you can land the ping, do they get ponged? Boink! Oh, yo, what a shot! So if you land the ping, they can definitely get ponged. Oh my gosh. So ping pong works if you can land it. It's gonna be real hard. So not, not high on the list, but it does work. Whirlwind, the new glove that just got nerfed. We have the whirlwind going. So it definitely counters that glove, but Whirlwind is... I don't like how you flop out of your ability. Let me test one more thing. Does it give slaps? And the ability doesn't give slaps. Okay, yeah. Ner this got nerfed to the ground. Y'all complain, complained. <laughs> God's Hand, you could definitely stop time on them and they won't be able to do anything. Their ability will run out. You could always have overkill out because even in a desync battle, they're going to have to avoid your glove. So maybe... Maybe. The custom and the mega rock will kill them if they run into you, so definitely encounter. Ultra instinct, you could have a 50% chance to dodge. <laughs> Hollow Jack, I think, might work. Yes, if you land it, you can definitely stop them. Hollow Jack is a counter if you're good enough and skilled enough to land it. Bus, if you can land it, but I wouldn't recommend it. Phase will keep you safe. You won't get hit by any knockback, so phase is a counter. Phase counters like everything, though. Bomb, if you can land it. All right. Yes. Okay, so it cancels out the user's ability. It's a counter against them. But yes, you can definitely stop their ability with the bomb throw. Bubble, same thing. If you can land it, they're going to get bubbled and taken away. Jet, uh, I wouldn't recommend. If you can land the shot with shard, this is 100% a counter. Buddies. Let's see if buddies works. Yes, you cannot be hit by this ability if you have them buddied. So buddies is another fantastic counter. Back-to-back -back weeks of buddies being a, like a number one counter. Ooh, okay, so if they're trapped, they still have the ability popped. Whoa! They still, it doesn't stop their ability. Oh, yeah, no, it does not stop their ability. So they just keep on moving and grooving after. So you're going to want to try to catch them before they get going. So trap is not a counter. It's just a death prolonger. Slapple is definitely a counter. It will actually kick them out of their ability, which is nice. Rattlebones. I think what I'm testing here is to see if they hit you with the ability, if they get angry Larry, which I'm going to assume so. Well, that answers that question. 
Okay, so if they do hit Larry, they will get that knockback. Charge could work. I believe if they're running in circles, you could catch up to them faster than they could catch up to you initially. So, like, even if we have this fast user here, I could time it out and I could hit them before they go after me. So, charge is something that will definitely get you a, uh, a counter against this glove. So, let's find a fast user. Oh, oh I, I don't think glitch actually works. So yeah, wow, okay, so glitch is not a counter. You're gonna wanna not use glitch on these users. I thought glitch was for sure gonna be a counter, but if they have the ability popped it, they don't get stuck into it, so that's a no-go for me. Ooh, if you just have the passive where you have the elude, then you're safe. Well, not if you land on one of these things, then you're not. So yes, if they have that ability and you get hit while you're using elude, you are perfectly safe as long as you're not landing on anything dangerous or somewhere dangerous. This is definitely a counter. If you get hit off the edge, just flop right back in. This is a massive counter. I really wouldn't try a Mawai. The odds of them getting hit by the, the shockwave are very slim. Oh, so it can stomp them, but the odds are very slow. You are definitely still in the danger zone if you are uh, trying to use it with Mawai, because it works. It's just not good enough. Voodoo works if you have a doll of them before they go into their ability. You could definitely slap it after and they will have that same exact feeling hit on them. I want to see if someone uses a full steam ahead on a doll if they get absolutely molly whopped. I don't even know. Okay, so they do take damage. They definitely do take damage back. I saw it at the very end there. Leash, uh, if you could smack them, you'll get them on a leash and they won't be able to use their ability. So yeah, that could work prior, not during though. Flamering. Flamering is definitely a counter. I could already see it. The only thing we need to know is if they're going full speed, if they can evade it. Okay, so they have their abilities popped. If we chuck our flamering, I believe it should. Yes and yes. Okay, so early stages, definite counter. Kinetic, if you have a big enough shockwave, we'll definitely stop them and stop their ability. Oh, okay, so yes, it definitely works to stop their momentum, but kinetic works if you get a big enough charge, that could work, but early stages, if you don't have anything with a kinetic, not really viable. And another Sparky versus Sparky would be an interesting battle, and could work. Sparky v Sparky, any glove versus itself always basically works. But ladies and gentlemen, those are the gloves that I see fit for being great counters against the new Sparky glove. This glove, again, like, I just want to say that this glove is great. It's not super good. It's not super bad. It's just kind of like a, a mid-release glove, you know? They kind of nailed it on like not being too overpowered and not being horrendous <laughs> so good jobs by the devs in, in my opinion <laughs> Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching i hope you have some fun with this new glove let me know what you think let me know if this is really hard to get for you if it's really easy to get let me know if you were able to get this in a private server we tried but maybe we were just weren't doing it correct maybe it, it will be obtainable in a private server we'll have to check the badge i might check it while i'm uploading see if it changed but thank you again for watching have some fun you already know what's coming after this sooner or later but i hope every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you are watching this and i shall see you in the next one later